Oh hello beautiful people and Linux fans, I hope you have a great day and even wonderful week. So I was browsing around the Fedora Copper repo, for those of you who don't know what Fedora Copper is, this is basically a community driven user repositories. You can think of it uh, pretty similar to the AUR for Arch Linux or OBS for Tumbleweed. If you can't find an application or software in the regular Fedora repositories or even in Flatpak, there is a good chance you can find it here. That's what I did. And for my surprise, the Cosmic Desktop, it's already available here. Let's see. It's gonna take a little bit, be patient. For some reason, the search functionality, it's really slow, but there you go. So, I have found a bunch of repositories that you have the ability to install the Cosmic Desktops environment from the System76 Pop OS. I know the Fedora guys have plans to port this desktop environment, well, the new Cosmic Desktop environment that it's going to be based on the Rust language. It is supposed to come out with the 2404 LTS Ubuntu release. And when this happens, they have announced that they're gonna try and port it. This might be the new spin for Fedora. But until then, if you are like me and anxious to try it for yourself and see how it works on Fedora, because I kinda really like the Cosmic Desktop, so today I have decided to try and install it from the copper repo. I think this is the one that I have chosen, so let's get to it. Okay, let's install it. I think I have been checking some of those and this is the one that I have been chosen for today. And let's try it. It shouldn't be that complicated. You have some installation instructions and some basic information what the Cosmic Desktop environment is and where the repo is. So let's add the copper repo. It shouldn't be that hard. Just basic. Well, <laughs> if I can type correctly, of course. Yes, I really want to enable this. The repository is successfully enabled. And let's install it. This shouldn't take long. We'll see. And by the way, guys, I'll show you. I am back to the regular release of Fedora. This is a Fedora 39. Again, the KD Plasma 5.27 yet. And the kernel is 6.7. I finished testing the new pre release version. Okay, yes, we want to do that, the key is important successfully. Alright, we're getting there. And as usual, I will leave this in the description of this video, so if you wanna go and try it for yourself, you can do that. Okay, the installation is already completed. Let me just sudo dnf update. Just to see, yeah, everything is updated. 
Okay, now I'm gonna have to stop the video because this is a real hardware, it's not a VM. So I have to log out and try to log in back on the Cosmic Desktop. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Alright, we are back and this looks awesome. As you can see, this is the latest development of the Cosmic Desktop. For even my surprise, this looks amazing. I have never tried it before, so I will explore this a little longer in the future. But I kind of really like it so far. Yes, you have a couple of functionalities here. You have the regular applications. Oh, wow. Now the only thing that is left is to figure out how to change the background, for example. This shouldn't be that hard because, well, this blank screen, it's bugging me so much. But anyway, <laughs> let's check if there is any info method. Or let's go with the terminal. Did I install new fetch yet? Well, no, but I will now. Wow, this looks awesome. And as you can see, I am on Fedora Linux 39, the KDE Plasma, but the desktop environment is cosmic. I'm not that familiar with this. Well, with the new, <laughs> with this new desktop environment that they have created, I have seen a couple of screenshots and videos, but I have never used it myself. So I'm gonna spend some time using it. And maybe if you guys want, I can do a really quick update video to this one. So I think this will be for today. Let me know what you think about the Cosmic Desktop. Have you ever used it? Have you ever used the copper repos? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.